it's Friday night, we're recording it on Thursday. Uh, you know how it works, don't worry at all. It'll be absolutely fine in the end. Um, as we're recording on Thursday, brilliantly, yet again, just before a Friday night, Liverpool have reported a contract extension. Joe Gomez, Ian, until 2026, which is... 2027. 2027, sorry, well, 2026 was a long time. 2027, I mean, who knows where we'll all be by then as people. But Joe <laughs> Gomez will still theoretically be at Liverpool. Uh, uh, <laughs> being Being what I think... I'm, I'm delighted, genuinely. I'm yeah. not quite as delighted as I was about Salah. But I'm delighted because I, I think he, he understands. I, well, I, I don't think so. <laughs> but I think he's great. Genuinely, I think he's great, and I think he can go on and continue to be great, and he can be the best centre half in the country. I think. Neil, I think it's really easy to forget the level that Joe Gomez got to at his very best. And you know, I think there's times across 18, 19, and 19, 20 where he's operating at an unbelievable level. He genuinely is for me across those two seasons. Certainly, 19, 20, he's the best young centre half in Europe, what else a doubt. You know, there's times even when you say, you know, he's outperforming even Virgil in one or two games, he's that good. You know, I think a certain performance is against Leicester away where Alisson makes the mistake, which I think is 18-19. It is, yeah, it's the fourth he's game of that season. He's yeah. tremendous that day. On the cover, he's everything you want from a centre half. He smells danger, he's great on the turn, um, recovery pace is there for everyone to see absolutely superb and then that kind of flows and goes into the next season again where I think he gets 28 league appearances in 1920 and he's outstanding the majority of those and Liverpool just aren't getting beat you know that partnership with him yeah. and Virgil looks tremendous and of course Virgil's the number one there's no doubt of that, about that but Joe is operating at a really high level and the injuries have at times have come at really cruel times they've killed him at times as well but I think He's done ever so well to come back on the back of a number of injuries. You know, the, the performance against Everton in the cup where he's again, he's tremendous. You know, he's playing alongside Nat Phillips, who's a little bit... It's um, a step you, Nat Phillips. Yeah, yeah, absolutely, yeah. And I think, you know, again, there wasn't loads of seniority in those uh, in that Liverpool team, but, but Joe's brilliant again. And that's just, you know, a couple of appearances there out of so many where if he's at his very best... And I still think there's maybe a little question mark around, you know, can he get back to those levels? Because he hasn't had the consistent runs in the team. But the fact that the club have done this, it tells you a lot. It tells you they believe he can get back well, to those levels again. The, the, the point about it, Josh, is he still had two years to go on the deal that he exi- that he already had. So that Liverpool have extended it by three to 2027. That does suggest, as Ian says, you know, if they wanted to take a bit longer, have a bit more of a look, well, there's opportunity to do that. They could have given it three more months, four more months, done it in the World Cup period. As Ian says, it's quite the vote of confidence, the extension. 100%, yeah, and it's, it's, it's a vote of confidence from, from his point of view, I guess, as well, because as much as the club could, you know, bide their time and look at it, what you've seen players do, and particularly during the sort of COVID years, if you will, is is letting their contracts run a bit and, and seeing what sort of in, in and around there. And Liverpool have obviously, you know, fought, I was going to say fallen victims to that, but there's been a few players who've let their contracts run down to the last stage and then the club have not been able to come to, to an agreement for them. But it's clear, you know, from both sides of this that the club were interested in getting Gomez done. The club wanted to be proactive in, in making sure that he was tied down for, for his best years because his best years are still ahead of him yeah. and that's the most exciting thing about, about the sort of Joe Gomez situation is that you know for all the, all the times we've seen you know Ian mentions him there that the appearances the big wins the big clearances and blocks and all those things the, the best of that is, is still to come with Joe Gomez you feel there's still sort of more steps to go towards the ceiling um, and it's exciting that he wants to do that at Liverpool as well because this Liverpool project under Jurgen Klopp and Jurgen Klopp extending the season all, all feels so important it all feels like it's heading towards this one thing now when everyone is, is remaining on the same page even when you've got big players like Sadio Mane leaving there's, there's, still, there's still that sort of you know, unity there within the squad and within the setup for, for the vision going forward The cruelest one for me John of his injuries that he had was the one after Van Dijk got injured and the reason why was because you saw him grow with that gap between the Van Dijk injury to that, that international break you saw him sort of grow into the idea of well this is my back four and he played the left hand side like Van Dijk does and I thought you know for instance we go to City and we get a draw with Gomez at centre half in there and, and for much of that game with a better side arguably and then he goes and gets it on international duty as well just standing there and that to me still feels like the one that's really really stuck in everyone's craw it's the one that's really held him back all the way through to now it's the one that holds Liverpool back across the course of that season Yeah and you're right to point that out Neil at the last point because a lot's made of the Van Dijk injury that, that season and I understand why, because it's it's the most notable in terms of, you know, he's the biggest star, but also the way it happens. It's an amazing side derby, yeah. it's a it's a horror tackle and, and all that, which which means that that's the one that sort of sticks in your head. And but 
the fact is we were actually going all right till Joe Massive got injured um, against Tottenham. We, we uh, were around then, wasn't it? We, we beat Tottenham, we go clear top of the league, and it's around then where it sort of crumbles. Which, and Joe Gomez is part of that, part of that, keeping it going. To enjoy this podcast or video, all you need to do is download the Anfield Wrap app. It's available on Google Play or your app store on Apple, and you can get some free tokens, uh, which you can use to try some of our content, and that includes match previews, and media post-match content, exclusive interviews, and loads of transfer chats as well. So join the Anfield Wrap. We're sharing the story of supporting Liverpool from the heart of the city. Up the Reds. Mm-hmm.